In a previous video, I used ChatGPT to build an entire city with the only stipulation being I wanted this city to be a utopia. What you are looking at is the result of that experiment and the city is called ChatGPTopia. However, I wasn't satisfied with just this city. I think that the AI can do even more for us. So in this video, we're going to revisit the city that ChatGPT built and we're going to ask it to expand its city to add things like airports, train connections, specialty districts, and all sorts of other fun stuff. Uh, speaking of which, there's a train line. Uh, but anyway, in this video, we're going to be expanding the city that ChatGPT built. So let's see what happens. So here we are with ChatGPT once again. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to inform ChatGPT about what it did last time. For some reason it didn't save the conversation history. And then I'm going to give it some, some uh, new prompts. We're going to tell it, you built this city, I want you to make it bigger. Like, uh, we, we just went for Utopia before, now we want a mega Utopia. Uh, previously, I asked you to build me a Utopia in Cities Skylines. You built a semi-circular city with industrial zones on the outside and commercial and residential residential on the inside uh, on the interior um, I'd like you to expand this city from just a utopia into a mega utopia Please specify uh, new parts of the city to build, where to build them, and what they should include. I think that will do the trick, but we'll see. Uh, okay. Sounds like an exciting project. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is interesting. Uh... Okay, all right. I, I like what we got going on here. Okay, so let's do an overview here. First, a knowledge hub. Construct a dedicated knowledge hub on the northern side of the city. This area should include a university campus, research, libraries, and innovation centers. It will promote education, research, and technological advancements, attracting intellectuals and fostering an environment of innovation. That sounds pretty cool. I like that culture district uh, so museums theaters all sorts of stuff like that surround the city with a lush green belt forming a natural barrier uh, okay residential enclaves um, okay sustainable infrastructure leisure and recreation okay so so we got a bunch of cool new districts but I, I want more specific the first one was good because it told us where to build that um, Please tell me exactly where to build each of these new features. Um, in relation to the existing city semi-circle. Cir circle? Spelling? And always say thank you because when the AI overlords take over, you want to make sure that they know that you are nice to them. Uh, so let's see. Okay, so for the Knowledge Hub, it already said Northern Side, uh, Cultural District, at the heart of the semicircular city near the center. This central location will make it easily accessible, surround the city uh, within the semicircle. Okay, so sustainable infrastructure, solar panels and wind turbines on rooftops. That is a really cool idea. I've always wondered why every roof in a city is not a solar panel. I, I don't really understand. I don't really understand that, but uh, who knows? Large recreation areas spread across different areas. Commercial innovation zone near the industrial zones. Social infrastructure. Okay, great. Um, so great. I would also like you to specify the location of the new airport and where slash how to connect it, um, as well as the railways to this city. Let's see what it says. Uh, 
the east or west beyond the existing industrial zones. Choose a location that provides them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> railways. Okay. Awesome. So it looks like it looks like we've got a pretty good uh, expansion path here. As always, I'm going to take some creative liberties with this, but I feel like I have a good idea of what ChatGPT wants us to build. Uh, so let's get building. I just want to do a little status update here. I've been working on this for a bit now and we've done some, oh, we have a power issue. Uh, let me fix that. That's perplexing. I'll have to work on that. Um, yeah, so let's, let's go over what we've added so far, what the new additions are. So first we have the Knowledge Center, <laughs> which is just a collection of universities, public libraries, uh, and other buildings such as this science center uh, and I think is this one other unique no that's it um, basically just like a university town but taken to a crazy level uh, I also went ahead and added the green belt uh, so what it said was to add the green belt are you guys out of power what's the problem here <sighs> gotta figure that out it said to add the green belt where the industrial zones are to act as a buffer from the city, uh, which would have been good uh, before we built the city. But I didn't want to go through the power or the trouble of demolishing all of these. Do we need more electricity? What's going on here? Uh, let's put a bunch of wind turbines here. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, so we added the new green belt, uh, and I did that outside of the existing city line, so what I'm going to do is probably add more stuff outside of that now. Uh, and then I added the commercial like innovation center over here, uh, or I forget what the AI called it. I think innovation center is accurate, but um, as you can see, there's a traffic nightmare happening here, uh, which is understandable because the entire district where everyone works there's no housing in it, so every single person has to cross this one bridge to get there. Uh, so I'm going to work on that. Uh, also going to integrate the airport and the railways, uh, but it's looking it's looking pretty cool. It looks very futuristic, uh, kind of like coruscant -y so far. Uh, but yeah, let's get right back into it.
Okay, everybody, I'm back again here. I have been working on this for way too long. I'm getting so absorbed into it. Uh, I'm basically just taking the suggestions that ChatGPT gave us and implementing them as best as I can. And this is what we've got so far. This thing, this city is becoming absolutely massive. Uh, there's a bunch of new stuff, uh, and I'm going to do a full overview. But before we get to that point, I have to let it fully mature. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the time lapse on. I'm going to let this thing run until the population stabilizes. And then we'll do a full tour of the new and improved Chat GPTopia. Okay, so I've let this run for some time now. It's been a while. Uh, and here is the new and improved chat GPTopia. First, though, I need to fix the fact that these people are sick. They are very sick. This is bad. I'm sorry, people. Ooh, and there's crime. Uh, okay, let's just... Where the sick people are, we'll replace their houses with medical centers. <laughs> Great idea. Oh, and I didn't even give these guys water service. Okay, there's more sick people over here. Um, hmm, yeah, that looks good. Okay, and then a police station. We got some crime. Oh, garbage. Oh, geez. Uh, incinerator, please. Right near the parks. Uh, okay. So let's pause. This is the new and improved chat GPTopia. We have added a lot in this, in this particular update. Um, one of the things is the knowledge center, which looks really like really cool circular. We got this science building here, a bunch of universities. We added this all new green belt separating the inner city from the outer city. The inner city has grown significantly. If you have a look at this, um, this whole area, it's gotten a lot bigger. All these buildings are higher level now. Uh, and then we also added a brand new industrial area over here, which by the looks of it is booming. Um, and then, oh, the poor crematorium doesn't have water. That's important. Uh, okay. Also added a railway system. Uh, we're about to see just how much it's getting used, if at all. I'm notoriously not very good at building railway systems in this. We added a whole new slew of residential districts. We also added an airport. Wow. Okay. So let's let's look at our maps. Let's see how this changed our city's profile. First we have traffic <laughs> and I think we all knew what was coming with this one so understandably this bridge connecting the inner ring to the outer rings is congested is this a surprise absolutely not because we have only one direct connection between the inner and outer rings these are kind of like circumvented ways to get there um, also, in the industrial zone, things things are horrible. They used to be worse. Oh, wow, look at that. This bridge in particular 
uh, is really bad. You'll see probably in the time lapse when I make it that I tried to fix this by adding this like improvised clover leaf situation. Limited success. Looks like we this off ramp has some bad traffic. Um, this this is interesting. This is a lot of bad traffic too. Um, so yeah, okay. Uh, we also have notably there's not as much traffic at the entrance to the city here because I think less people are entering there. What would be really bad if I really wanted to cause chaos would be to sever every single road connection except this one to the outer world. That would be horrendous. I'm not going to do that uh, for now anyway. We look at garbage production. We have a ring of incinerators on the outside of the city. Uh, looks like we're covered pretty well, although we are getting in the yellow there. In terms of health, there are definitely some areas of concern. Uh, some of these buildings are close to the industrial ring, which makes them not good. Uh, and then this whole area around the airport, there's a lot of noise pollution, obviously. In terms of crematoriums, we have decent coverage. Uh, we put some near the industrial zone because people kept dying over there. I need to add some child care and probably some elder care too. Let's also look at education. Okay, so I neglected, I just realized, to add elementary schools to our whole new residential ring, so I'll have to do that. Uh, and then high schools, same deal. Uh, really, you can really see the difference. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. In terms of universities, <laughs> um, the availability is good, but the usage is not um, because, you know, we have our three universities over here. And libraries, I don't have any. I just realized I forgot to put those in, so I have to add libraries. Um, let's have a look at crime. Not really any crime. 6% crime rate is pretty low. Population, fire risk. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> That's very bad. Let me fix that. Uh, we'll add a big old firehouse out here. That should help. And then another one. Mm, I can add a, just a little station there. Okay. That should help. Uh, now, I wanted to look also at land value. So these are the, these are the places where you really want to live. Uh, the lightest green is the highest land value. So... Looks like, obviously, the center city, the inner ring, and then the entrance to the uh, inner ring. So it's really all about this like central road here, uh, and I'm definitely going to have to fix that in future updates. Uh, let's see. Leisure, the green belt definitely helped big time, uh, but this these inner city houses still do not have much. Tourism. Uh, 23% city attractiveness is not very good. Let's look at our public transport. Okay, so the planes, the planes are not doing too much, but the train system appears to be helping. Let's, uh, let's press play here. So I connected up with this railway back here, uh, and I tried to direct some of, hopefully, the passenger traffic onto the trains instead of that is a close why is it crisscrossed like that that was not my intention um yeah passenger traffic on trains uh, my hope was that people will ride from these train stations to you know this one here uh like to and from work that hasn't really happened uh, let's have a look at some of these congested intersections. Oh my god. Oh, it's horrible. That is rough. Oh no. Let's, you know what, let's, let's do this. I'm literally not even, I'm just going to use ramps. Uh, okay, let's do a ramp here. In... Or I guess out, in, uh, and then, oh, not zoning, ramps, in, uh, okay, can't do that, there's parks there, where do we have a gap, there's a gap, 
out. Perfect. Okay. Probably not going to even help. I mean, look at this congestion. It's horrible. All the people walking around. <laughs> look at this line of cars. Everybody wants to turn right. It goes all the way back here. What? Oh my god. That's horrible. Is anyone using my new ramps? Yeah, okay, people are. Good. Uh, oh, there's a fire. That's a big building to be on fire. Um, if we also want to have a look here at the uh, the industrial area, you can see I built this like absolutely horrendous set of train bridges so that we could intertwine things. Oh, there's a lot of passengers here. Wow, okay. Interesting. So people are kind of using that as intended. This looks bad. Uh, and then the bridge into the city here also also looks bad. Maybe I should add... I'm getting way too absorbed into this game. Like, I could easily sit here for hours, like, just building this city because it's so, it's so entertaining to me. So what if I, I mean... <laughs> yeah okay I, I'm gonna have to revisit that in the next video but anyway this is the updated chat GPtopia I think it's really interesting to see how the AI built it and to take like a bit of a crazy uh, view on it and construct it in that way um, this is a really interesting city and I think there's a lot to be learned from it specifically that Having people live far away from their work is probably not good. Uh, also, traffic sucks. So maybe in the next video we will tackle some of the traffic problems that we are having. I'm, I can't stop. Guys, help. I can't stop playing. Uh, let's do this. Yeah. So maybe in the next video we'll tackle some of the traffic problems, we'll expand even further. Uh, I want to utilize this island for something cool. Uh, so, you know, maybe we'll make this into a little series if you guys enjoy it. Um, if you're not already subscribed, you should subscribe so you can see the rest of that. Uh, but yeah, leave your suggestions in the comments uh, and I will make the next one as soon as possible. But in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.